funeral plans for Charles III have reportedly been postponed. His condition was updated as he was in very poor condition. This is what we found on May 1, 2024, his Facebook account posted an article from his Nostalgia Enthusiast website stating that Charles III's funeral plans had been published. The headline was King Charles' funeral plans updated due to grim cancer prognosis. Renewed due to unsuccessful battle with cancer. Similar posts also appeared on X including accounts from various news organizations such as the New York Post, Page Six, and Insider Paper. As of this writing, the post has received more than 5.7 million total interactions. However, according to the New York Post, the article was published by the American news site The Daily Beast, citing anonymous sources. On April 25, 2024, the Daily Beast published an exclusive article stating that the British monarch was very unwell and that funeral plans were being updated regularly. The headline of the article was, King Charles' health remains a mystery as his funeral plans are cancelled. The story said, officials are reviewing copies of hundreds of pages of documents entitled Operation Menai Bridge. The code word for King Charles' death. Friends of the King told the Daily Beast that his health was not good, but officials did not respond to formal requests for comment. The website reportedly learned that Prince Charles' funeral plans were being regularly updated and that documents detailing how they worked out after Queen Elizabeth's death had been circulated throughout the British government. The article further added that the King was really, really bad and even worse than they think. For example, an old friend of the family told the Daily Beast, Everyone remains optimistic, but he's really, really bad. More than they are. The Daily Beast also posted the article multiple times to its ex account, where it garnered more than 144,000 views. Because the site used anonymous sources, Snopes was unable to substantiate the claims in the article. So we reached out to the Daily Beast, Buckingham Palace, and the UK Cabinet Office for more information. We will update this article if we hear back. In March 2024, the British monarch's health became the centre of yet another unproven rumour when celebrity gossip magazine claimed that Prince Charles had been diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and had two years to live. As of this writing, Buckingham Palace has only issued statements regarding the King's health twice since the first press release on February 5, 2024. The magazine article was also based on quotes from anonymous sources. Both men did not mention that Charles' cancer diagnosis was worsening and that he was in a bleak picture, but their latest statement said, following a period of treatment and recovery, he plans to return to public life shortly. It is said that on May 3, 2024, Monarch appeared at the Royal Windsor Horse Show in Windsor, Berkshire. Kate Beckinsale praises King Charles for being really open about his cancer diagnosis Kate Beckinsale praises King Charles III in his fight against cancer. The 50-year-old British actor praised the 75-year-old monarch for speaking candidly about his own cancer diagnosis while reflecting on his own family's relationship with cancer. While attending the King's Trust Gala in New York City on May 2, the Underworld star said she was impressed by how open Charles has been about his health. And when you have a monarchy on top of that, I think people are like, why would you do that? What is that for? Such. My mother has cancer, and my stepfather just passed away from cancer. Ta. And this is actually really important to be really open about something that's very personal, Beckinsale told reporters at the event, People magazine reported. I'm really impressed that he's doing this, she added. Beckinsale previously revealed in a now-deleted post that her mother, Judy Lowe, had gracefully and calmly battled stage 4 cancer for the past six years and that her mother and Charles had coincidentally he was also battling cancer. I was recently admitted to the same cancer hospital. Hope you're all feeling better. 
I'm really tired of cancer, the Van Helsing star said. In January, Beckinsale announced on Instagram that her stepfather, Roy Battersby, passed away at the age of 87 earlier this year after a short illness. The Total Recall star praised King Charles after he was recently hospitalized for unexplained health issues. On March 11, she posted a photo on Instagram paying tribute to her mother in her hospital bed, in honor of her Mother's Day on March 10 in the UK. She posted two photos of herself in her hospital bed wearing a large black headband with a ribbon on her head. The post also included a snapshot of Beckinsale's boyfriend coming to visit her in hospital. Thank you to those who love us, support us through the worst of times, and try to see us through some hard times, Beckinsale wrote in the caption. And for taking care of our dogs when we couldn't, for reminding us of happy things when we couldn't, and for sitting with us when we were sick. Giving us balloons. From the well with love. In February, King Charles announced that he had been diagnosed with cancer after undergoing treatment for an enlarged prostate. The royal family did not specify the type of cancer, but said he was undergoing treatment at the time. This week, he returned to public service for the first time since his diagnosis. Mr. Charles met with other cancer patients at University College Hospital's Macmillan Cancer Center on April 30 where he assured the nation, I'll be okay and spoke about the importance of early diagnosis. When asked by a patient about his health during Tuesday's visit, the monarch replied, I'm fine, thank you, it's not too bad, 